Hey guys, this is Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a product called Airtable to manage information about land records research at different jurisdictions. In this case, we're going to look at county survey offices or county surveyor offices. And I don't think I've done a video with Airtable before. It's a really cool product. Uh, I like it. It's it's kind of like a spreadsheet on steroids. Uh, I was using another product called Fieldbook before, and they actually went out of business. So I've switched everything over to Airtable, and I'm very happy with it uh, as a product. It's a little bit like a cross between a simple database and a spreadsheet. So, And you can see it. I'm using Airtable for a number of different things. So I'm logged in here to my Airtable account. You just go to Airtable.com. They also have a little version that runs on the desktop. That's actually what I like to use, but the setup on the browser is very similar. So I'm logged into my Airtable account here, and you can see I've got some different uh, what they call uh, Airtables. So I've got ones for uh, I was uh, doing some work in OpenStreetMap, uh, mapping buildings for rural communities. Um, I've got a, a Airtable here that tracks uh, different airport contact information for when you're flying a UAV. So you can see I've, I've got some information here on Stockton Metro Airport. That's my local airport. Um, then I've got some information on some commercial real estate brokers I work with. But today, I'm going to show you this uh, database I have for uh, county lands records research. We've also got some information on county planning departments, but I'm not going to show you that today in this video. Um, and I, I need to do some more videos with Airtable. Um, it's a really great product, and so I need, to, I need to plan on doing that. But for today, let's go in. We're going to go ahead and we just click on this Airtable here to open this up. So you can see the name here of the table, County Land Records Research Information. And this is the default view here. It's called the grid view. So it's like a table view or spreadsheet view. And you can see I've got some different information in here. Uh, but I actually like to use this in the gallery view. So one cool thing about Airtable, uh, one of the things that makes it a really, really great product is uh, they support multiple views. Uh, so you can have different views on your... Uh, on your data and so one of the views that I like to use is the gallery view you can see you also have a form view which is kind of cool for data entry and they can do calendar view if you've got stuff with dates and then they've got this Kanban view I don't use a Kanban view very much because I'm, I'm if I'm doing Kanban stuff I'm typically in Trello which is another application but some people like it uh, but we're gonna go to the gallery view here that I've set up and that just makes uh, a little card for each row in your grid each row in your table and so it's pretty helpful here so you can see I've got different information here on the clerk and recorder county surveyor and tax assessor for San Joaquin County for County of Santa Clara County Alameda and I've got a little bit some just some oddball counties here and I'm actually working in San Mateo County on this project so I'm gonna show you a couple things we're gonna add a new record for the San, Mate San Mateo County for the county surveyor and I'm also gonna um, update this card or this row here for the clerk and recorder and I'm just going to add the the uh, logo here so I'm going to go into attachments and this opens up the card and I'm going to say attach file and I've just made a little logo here using an image I downloaded off the internet so we'll go ahead and grab that and upload it and this card is set up by default to show the uh, the logo in the uh, primary image view in the card so we'll give this a minute to update Okay, I'm going to close out of here now, and you can see now we've got that uh, image for San Mateo County loaded. It's a little distorted. I mean, it looks like I made the image too long, uh, so I'll go in and fix that, and uh, and we'll, we'll that image will look a little better. Okay, guys, so I paused the video, and I just uploaded an image that was square, and you can see it looks a lot better. So what we want to do now is we're going to add a new record. This is the San Mateo County Clerk and Recorder. We want to add one for the county surveyor. So we're going to go back to the grid view because I like to do my data editing in the grid view. And we're just going to click here on the bottom of the table to add a new record. So we're going to type in here San Mateo County for the agency name. Okay, and then we've got a type here. This is just set up like a valid value table or a, a, just a list. And so I want to click County Surveyor. And then we're asking here for the phone number, email, web address. So I'm going to just grab this stuff right off the website. 
So we'll drop in the URL there. And let's see, here's the address. If we want to do on-site research. Oh, let's see. It doesn't like that. I've got some line breaks in there. So I'm going to just get rid of those line breaks. All right, let's see if they've got an email and a phone number. They might not cuz counties like it make like they like to make it notoriously difficult to get hold of the county surveyor. Oh, look at that. Not the folks at San Mateo County. They've got a phone number and an email listed right here. Okay, so we'll add that. Now, I'm not working with anybody on uh, at San Mateo County that I can remember off the top of my head right now, but when I get a contact there, we'll go ahead and add that. Um, I don't need to have any notes here. Um, actually, I do need a note. So what I'm going to do, actually, I'm going to change this a little bit. I'm going to add a field. You can see I've got some notes um, that show you where the online research tool is, but because that's getting to be so common now, I actually am, am going to add a new field for that. So I'm going to come over here to this field 10. These are just junk fields that, that shouldn't be in here. So I'm going to delete 11. And we're going to come in here to field 10, and we're going to rename this field. And we're going to just call it a online viewer URL. Because a lot of different agencies like the tax assessor and the surveyor will have an online viewer now. And uh, now we can just go ahead and paste that link directly in here. So here's the viewer that those guys have set up. We're going to show you that in another video. So we'll add that. And let's see here. So then what, once we do that, we want to go ahead and move these other values out of the uh, note fields. These other uh, links to viewers, just so we're consistent. So I'm going to leave this one because it's got multiple links there. I'm just going to put the primary link in here. All right, we got one more to do, guys. Just bear with me here. Okay, now... Uh, we want to go ahead and attach our image. That same image as San Mateo County, the logo. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and wait for that to load. Now we should be able to go back to our gallery view. And now we've got San Mateo County, the county surveyor here. And you can see the, uh, the logo is loaded. Okay, and then if we click on that card... We've got all the information here, phone number, email, link to the viewer. And you can see the kind of cool thing. Uh, it's a lot like Trello. It just keeps track of your edits over here on the side there. So you can see what's happened to that record over time. All right, cool. One thing I want to do, I do want to rename this table. We're going to call this uh, County Land Records, Land Record Agencies. All right, guys, so that's about 10 minutes. That's try and keep, the, keep these videos to 10 minutes. So that gives you an, kind of an introduction to Airtable, shows you how to use it to manage uh, research in information for different county agencies. And if you're a land surveyor working in Central California, you're welcome to reach out to me. I'm uh, more than willing to share this table with you. All right, guys, appreciate you watching, and we'll catch you on the next video.